Assalamu alaikum my dear students I hope all of you are fine and doing well so the topic here that we will discuss today it is the geometry of complexes now the complexes are the basically compounds that are being made up by the transition elements and the transition elements are basically the elements from block D and F of the periodic table so here we will discuss about the geometry of the complexes so the complexes are the compounds in which there is a central atom like the example is k4 we have iron and then we have cyanide the name of this compound is potassium ferro cyanide hexa cyanide in which the oxidation state of iron is plus 2 so this is a simple example of the complex compound now what will be their geometry basically the word geometry it is a three dimensional arrangement of the atoms that constitute a molecule or all the atoms that are making up the molecule or a compound that how do these atoms just arrange themselves in a three dimensional or in 3d structure this is being called as the molecular geometry of the compounds or the complexes now what type of information we may be able to get from the geometry of the complexes it gives the information about the general shape of the molecule that what is the shape of the molecule then it just provides us the bond length for example if we have a compound like CH4 this is a very simple example now what we what is the bond length between these two atoms it, the geometry will tells us that this is the bond length and now this is the bond angle so it also tells us the, what is the angle between these two atoms it will tells us about the torsional angles that what is the angle between these two atoms and what they are making up with this atom and any other geometrical parameter that can determine the position of each atom in turn it just tells us about the position of each atom that how it just surround the central atom and what is its main dimension in this compound it will be helpful from the geometry of the complexes now there are different types of the geometrical shapes of the complexes the first one we have tetrahedral the second one is square planar the tetrahedral means four corner shape then we have the square planar like the square making shape there, there we have trigonal bipyramidal the three corners and the bipyramidal two pyramidal shapes will be attached and the last one is octahedral it means it must have the eight corners structure now let's discuss these structures one by one with the help of the example the first one is the tetrahedral geometry so here we have the compound which is named as manganese tetrachloro in which we have manganese along with four chlorine atoms to it and it is a complex compound now the manganese it is a central atom and it is being attracted or are being attached with the four chlorine atoms over there and they are making up this structure which is being called as the tetrahedral structure and in this tetrahedral structure the hybridization of all the atoms like manganese to chlorine it is sp3 hybridization means 1s and 3p just intermix intermix themselves and they are making up the hybrid orbitals and when they are making up the hybrid orbitals and they just join the central atom which is the manganese and after this we have the second one geometry which is called as square planar here we have the example of copper amino which is a tetra amino group the four amino groups are being attached i'm just going to write over there nh4 nh3 4 and its charge is 2 negative in which the central atom is a copper and it is being attached to the four amino groups at its corners 
and they are making up a square shape so that's why this is being called as the square planar shape of the complex compounds and then we have the trigonal bipyramidal shape of the complex compounds so this geometry is just different from the others here we have phosphorus and we have five chlorine atoms attached to it basically this is the form of the geometry which is being made by the central atom and that central atom is being attracted by the five atoms or other five group of atoms so here the central atom is the phosphorus p and it is attracted by or attached to the five chlorine atoms in which we have one two and three they are making this trigonal shape and these two chlorine atoms are attached to this side so they are making a pcl5 which is called as trigonal bipyramidal and a hybridization we have dsp3 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 means there one d one s and three p's just intermix themselves and they make the hybridized orbitals and they just make the bond like between phosphorus and chlorine after this we have the last one geometrical shape of the complexes which is the octahedral octa means simple eight hadral means the eight corners so this is a bean geometry of, that is formed by the cobalt and hexa amine the six amino groups will be attached to it and the charge will be two negative so we just tried it cobalt then amino group and the charge will be two negative now in this the central atom is the car cobalt and the six amino groups will be attached to it and they are making up the octahedral structure and the geometry is based upon the type of hybridization which is sp3 d2 so in this the 2d 3p and 1s just combine and it just make up the hybridized orbitals and make their geometry of the compounds or atoms in this structure which is octahedral in shape so this was a topic all about today we have i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and you guys just try to find more octahedral tetrahedral trigonal bipyramidal shapes of the different complexes and the next topic that we will discuss it is introduction to the iron iron its symbol is fe for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day